Open the student's database. Create five new data entry forms using the form wizard to allow a user to add or edit data for the group, country, staff, subject and student tables. This was done for the student table in the tutorial for task IS09. It might be easier for users of the system to see the student's age display beside their birth date, but age is not stored in the database. We can derive this from existing data. Switch to design view in the add edit students details form. From the design tab, add a text box control to the form and line it up with the existing date of birth text box. Move its label to the right side of the text box and change its caption to years. Double click on the new text box, which will contain the words unbound, meaning it's not linked to any field from the tables. Choose the data tab in the properties list. In the row labelled control source, type the function shown. If you would prefer to work in a slightly larger space to type this in, then choose the button at the right end of the row with the three dots. This opens as a dialog box in which you can enter the function shown. The function uses two built-in database functions, now, which returns the current date and time from the computer, and int which is a mathematical function which simply discards any decimal places in the number you've sent it. The function we have entered simply subtracts the student's date of birth from today's date, divides by 365 to give the number of years, and then discards the decimal places from the result, leaving us with the student's age. Check the form by switching the form view and scrolling through a few students. You should see their age being shown in the new text box. The formula is known as a derivation rule because its contents are derived from the data that already exists in the database. In the next tutorial we will learn how to add images to forms.